but strew his ashes to the wind, whose sword or voice has served mankind. And is he dead, whose glorious mind lifts thine on high? To live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. Thomas Campbell wrote this poem after visiting a graveyard of Polish independence fighters. And he was amazed and taken aback that these men would lay their lives down for something that was far beyond just their own concern, for their country. And so he believed that they had reached a sort of immortality through service and through giving their lives to others. We thought it was appropriate to put that line from that poem, that sentiment, onto this wall to commemorate the people who, without knowing it, have created a beautiful place here, a place full of complex memories, a place that people remember with pride and with dignity. The Fry and Prickett Funeral Home opened in 1884, making it the longest running business in Carthage. We had a lot of fun painting it, and um, we hope you have a lot of fun enjoying it. Enjoy these videos, these memories, um, these thoughts from the children and the people themselves who are depicted in this mural. Enjoy. Eighteen eighty four and eighteen eighty six. Mr. James Van Larking opens the general store selling caskets. He was one of the first graduates of the Brown School of Embalming in Raleigh. When Van Larkin came to Carthage, um, he was a casket builder, um, could have even uh, sold furniture. A lot of funeral homes back in that uh, day, they had furniture stores, but they would also build caskets. James Van Larkin, who originally opened the funeral home business in Carthage, was the leader of the Methodist Church, Carthage Methodist Church music. They would take the body, prepare it in the home, have the service in the home, but families would come to the furniture store to pick out the casket, and the casket would be selected and then taken to the home, the body would be dressed and placed in it, and then kept there until it was time for the service. 1919, Mr. Larkin sold the business to Mr. R.G. Fry, Sr. In 1922, my grandfather, Robert Gilman Fry Sr., was elected sheriff of Moore County. And at that time, he moved into town from out in the country from his farming business and moved into a home on uh, Saunders Street, the corner of Saunders and McNeil Street. Uh, he was sheriff here in Moore County from 1922 to 1928. And in 1929, he moved into a building from the uh, Larkin building to a building on the corner of McNeil Street and Monroe Street here in Carthage. The building that was operated as a funeral home from 1929 to 1941 is depicted on the mural, if you stand look at the mural, right there right behind me. And that building was located directly across from me on the corner there of Monroe and McNeil Street. 1941, on October 12th, the building containing Sheriff Fry's funeral business and several other businesses burned to the ground. And my father, 24 years old, knew the importance of the records that were kept there in the funeral home office. They tied a rope around his waist to retrieve them in order to pull him out if something happened. But those records were that important back then. We didn't have computers, of course. After the fire, the Fry started a new building on McNeil Street for the business. While you're looking at the mural, the building that is, it is painting on is where our original funeral home used to be. There will be a gavel in my father's hand. And that gavel was put there because he became the first chief magistrate in Moore County when the magistrate system changed from the justice of the peace system from 1968 until 1981 when he retired in 65. After he sold the funeral business to Tommy Prickett because of ruptured disc in his back, uh, he was only 40 years old. Once Tommy Prickett purchased the business from my father, the name changed to uh, 
Fry and Prickett. Tommy Prickett left our name, the Fry name, on just because at that time it was Daddy was well known, my grandfather was well known, well thought of. You know, I'm very proud that my family name is still associated with the business because of the many, many years that my grandfather and my father operated here in Carthage. 